Okay, second grade. Today we're going to learn about patterns. And we know patterns are all around us. Sometimes we can see patterns in numbers. Um, for example, if you look at the hundreds chart, you'll see that we see how the, the twos, the two column, you can go down and find 2, 12, 22, 32, 42. So the twos are repeating themselves. I found a pattern on my hundreds chart. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is really repeating itself here. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm just finding ways that I see patterns within the numbers on the hundreds chart. Um, we see patterns in shapes all around us. We might see it on the flag. Here we see a pattern of red stripe, white stripe, red stripe, white stripe. Um, and we call that an AB pattern because we have red, which stands for A, white, that stands for B. So it goes A, B, A, B, A, B. So that's one type of pattern. Okay. Another type of pattern that you might see is we're going to use Miss Lister's magnet hands here. Okay. I have yellow, pink, green, purple, purple. Yellow, pink, hmm, what do you think is going to come next? That's right, green. And this pattern can be shown a little bit differently. We can think about it in letters. We could think of the yellow being A, pink being B, green C, purple D. Oh, but I have another purple here, so I'm going to put another D because we know purple represents the Ds. Okay, so it's A, B, C, D, D. A, B, C, and my next two would be purple, D, D. Okay? All right, second graders, I'm going to show you some patterns too. I've got some other fun little magnets right here. And I like how Mrs. Douglas put those letters on there because sometimes maybe I'm not sure with the colors or they might be trying to trick me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, well, got blue, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that blue is an A. This is a different color, so I'm gonna say it's a B. Pink is a B. Another different color, C. Blue, oh, I've had blue already, so I have to go back to blue, and I have to look at what that letter was. Oh, it was an A. And I'm kind of figuring out a pattern even with my letters, A, B, C, a, I bet the next one's B, and it is C, yep, it's a C, A, B, C, so I'm thinking A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, and I can tell my pattern, the next one's going to be a blue one because it's going to be an A. Mrs. Douglas, do you have another pattern to show them? I do. Right here we have some sticky notes hanging on the whiteboard, and if I say this pattern in my head, I can see I have orange, green, green. Orange, green, what's going to come next? I'm going to put letters on it first and then I'll decide. So my orange is going to be my A, then my green is going to be my B, here's another green, so I'm going to write B again. Here's another orange, I know that orange is A. So my pattern is A, B, B, A, B, gonna be green for B, okay? So second grade, all the patterns that we just showed you are repeating patterns, so they, they repeat after one another. You can find what comes next. But there's another type of pattern. It's called a growing pattern, or sometimes it's called an additive pattern. And when you do that, your pattern kind of grows and gets bigger. So I'm going to show you a growing pattern with these blocks, okay? So if I put one block up here, I'm going to put for my next step, I'm going to put another block, and then I'm going to add one on top. So it kind of looks like it's growing or it's adding. That's why so they call it an additive. Why they call it an additive? We just thought of that we at the same did. reason. Yeah, we did. So I have one here, I have two. Now I'm going to make it grow again, but I have to make it grow in the same direction. There's two, so I'm now going to have three. And I'm going to do another one. And this pattern just keeps growing and getting bigger 
and bigger and bigger. It does not repeat itself. It won't ever look like this again. It just keeps growing. Okay, Miss Lister, do you want to show them another growing I pattern? I do, and this one I'm, a, I'm just going to draw because sometimes you have to draw a pattern. And I'm just going to start with a circle, and that's going to be the start of my pattern. So then on my next step for my growing pattern, I got to start with my circle, but this time the circle has a triangle on it. See how it grew upwards? Okay. Then the next step is going to still have that circle. It's now going to have that triangle, but it has to grow again. It can't just stay the same. And it's going to have a star. So I'll go circle, triangle, gotta have my star, and then I'm going to add a smiley face. Next one could be circle, triangle, star, smiley face, and then whatever you want to put. Maybe this time it's going to be a square. And you can see how every single time it's never really repeating, only the step right here, but it's adding, it's getting bigger, it's growing. It's called a growing pattern. And you'll see growing patterns grow in every direction. They might grow up like ours did, or they might grow to the side, or they might grow down. You'll just have to figure that out and use your brain to do that. So what we want you to do, you guys, is you are going to grab a paper and you're gonna grab the little packet of patterns, right? There's mm -hmm. some patterns that we cut out for you. And you have to look at those patterns and decide, is this one growing or additive? Or is it a repeating one? So does it repeat like this, A, B, B, A, B, B, or one of these two? Or when you look at it, does it not repeat? It just grows and it adds and gets bigger. So while you're doing that, really pay attention. Does it grow or does it not grow? Okay. And then I think that they can play the game. Website, yeah. You can go on the website and there's a ton of can you make a growing pattern? And we'll see if you can make your own and figure out the answers to that. It's a fun one. It Have is. fun. Good luck, second graders. Okay. Um, if you could.